Hi guys, in this video, we will be creating an AMI of this running instance. Store that AMI into an S3 bucket and then delete that AMI. Also, we will terminate this instance and then we will try restoring that AMI again into the console. So, already I have taken the AMI of this running instance and also I have an S3 bucket ready for this thing. And also, we have a block with us wherein we will see how we can uh, do this. So let's begin. So first we will uh, copy this code and put it in our notepad so that we can edit accordingly. Uh, not this one, just a moment. Yeah. Here is our notepad. Let's paste. Remove this multi-line just to make it proper. Okay. And now you know, what is required is the bucket name. We will copy the bucket name first, put it into the command, and then AMI ID. So let's see what is the AMI ID. This is the AMI ID. Let's paste it over here and control V. So this is the command. Let's run it first. To run this, we will go to PowerShell. Let's open a new tab. Till the time PowerShell loops, let's see what is the next thing that we do. So this is would be the expected output. Describe. So here we will see the status of uh, the AMI that has been created, whether it has transferred to S3 or not. Let's see. Uh, here we are in. Yeah, it is still loading. Till the time we'll copy it. I was wondering where I just lost my code. Okay, so we are just waiting for the environment to be ready. Yeah, we are in now. Now let's paste the code. This is our code. Here is our EMI ID and this is our bucket name. So paste and let's hit enter. Okay, so it is given error because the bucket which was created is in different region. No worries. We will create one more bucket in North Virginia region now. US East 1. US East 1. Give a different name. My AMI bucket. Let's copy the name first. And hit create. It is giving some mirror. Let's put a random number. Copy this once again and create. Okay, it is in supports uppercase. No worries, we will remove the M. Okay, our bucket will be created. Let's make changes into our code now. So now this will be our S3 bucket. So you need to make sure that the bucket as well as the region are same or else you will face this error. Now let's paste and do it once again. Yeah, so now we have received the output, expected output. Now let's see the status. Okay, as you can check, this is the previous one and this is the current one. You can see the AMI ID ends with FEA. Uh, let's see over here FEA. Yeah, this is the one. So it is in progress. We will it once again. Okay, it is in progress. 28% is done. So I'll just unpause the video in time. Okay, so as you can check, now it has completed 100%. So we will check in our S3 bucket whether we are able to get our AMI or not. So this was our bucket. Yeah, our AMI is present over here. Now we will uh, try restoring it. But we, for doing that, first we will delete the AMI which is with us in our console. Copy the AMI ID. Actions. 
deregister EMI. So whenever you deregister an EMI, it left the snapshot with us. We'll go and delete that too. Here is the snapshot window. Let's paste the EMI ID. This is the snapshot. Let's delete this too. Okay, we have deleted this also. Now we can go to instance. So this is was our instance. You can check uh, it has a volume ID of 30 GB. Now we will terminate this one and try bring it back using the AMI which we have in S3. So let's terminate. Okay, so now our instance is terminated. Now let's try to restore this AMI. As you can check, we don't have anything in our AMIs. Also, no snapshots are there with us. Also, the instance has been terminated. So only destined these two instances are stopped. And let's now go to the block. As you can check to now restore. So this is the code. Let's copy it real quick. Paste it. What we require is the AMI ID in the S3. So here is our bucket. Let's copy the full name. Paste it in our code. And now the bucket name is required. So this is the bucket name. Bucket name. Okay, now paste. Okay, okay, just a moment. Okay, so now we have entered the bucket name as well. And now let's give it a unique name. Let's give it uh, restore and copy the code. Okay, our cloud shell has just expired. Let's wait for it to start once again. Preparing your terminal. By the time, let's copy the code. Here is our code. Cloud shell and paste. Always make sure to remove these empty spaces over here. And it is gone. Oh, just my phone is ringing. Just give me a minute. Okay, let's continue now and uh, paste. Hit enter and yes, the restoration has been done. Let's check in the AMIs whether we are able to see it or not. Yes, it is here. We can check status is pending and let's wait for it to be in available state. Okay, the AMI is in available state right now. Let's check the storage. Yeah, 30 GB of volume is there. You can check the snapshot as well. Let's refresh snapshot as well. Okay. The 30 GB snapshot is also with us. Now nothing to do. This is the way you can restore an EMI from S3 bucket. So if you launch from here, then you will be able to see the storage. And just quickly skip. Yeah. Storage with this storage is with us. So this is how you can uh, put an EMI into the S3 bucket and then you can restore it back so what this basically does is it saves a hell lot of a cost for us because storing an EMIs because there are many EMIs in many organizations so you can store them in S3 and then you can put it in Glacier or Deep Glacier archive so that uh, this will help to reduce the cost for your client or your organization so I guess this was a helpful video thank you guys for watching have a nice day